prepared for the potential for the United States of America to enter into a full-blown war with Russia. Russia is threatening to unleash a full-scale war in the region of eastern Ukraine. We are seeing video of armored personnel carriers moving toward potential conflict points, fully armed and prepared for war. Drone footage is showing rows of tanks aligned by major roads and heavy artillery is being transported to the region by train. Videos of military movements have flooded uh, Russian social media outlets that we monitor for the past 72 hours with military researchers in the United States warning that the current administration, the Biden administration, has shared bread with Ukraine and has backed up their pledge to defend the region against Russia, a stance, according to strategists, that will lead to a conflict with the United States of America and Russia, both nuclear superpowers, both military superpowers that will exceed anything that has been seen in the past 60 years. You and your family need to get ready for the possibility that this is going to touch you in one way or another. Whether it's the economic fallout from what happens, the increased pressure on geopolitics, no matter what it is, this is going to affect you once that first shot in the next full war is fired. There will be no peaceful resolution, claims one Russian source familiar with the operation and the military. Moscow, they say, is determined at this point to intervene militarily. Once that happens, researchers are warning all bets are off on how the United States will be moved by their recent packs into this volatile and extremely dangerous time. Need I remind you that we're following a cycle here. Pandemic, economic fallout, war. Pandemic, economy, war. This happens over and over again, and you can tie it back not just 100 years, but 600, 1,000 years. This happens over and over again, and you can tie it back not just 100 years, but 600, 1,000 years deep. As soon as you have these types of things take place in the world, economic fallout and military action always come to pass in the near future. Ukraine last week announced that it will hold joint military drills with NATO following Russia's uh, military maneuvers. This is going to draw in the United States of America. You'll recently remember during the Syrian conflict that the United States and Russia traded blows, but those were proxy events. Those were proxy wars. They were uh, attacks against one another's nation, but through a proxy war. And what, what that means is there's no full-out conflict. The United States of America, according to military researchers, according to regional research, will not have that same choice in Russian, uh, in a Russia-Ukraine conflict. The United States of America, NATO, will get pulled into its fullest, and that means that you and your family will have an effect from this. Economic, you might see the prices that you think are there are high now double in price it might just be shortages a supply issue you think it's hard to find something now just wait until you have to wait two weeks for that item you've been looking for no matter what it is you will feel some fallout from this larger conflict and remember we're following a cycle here pandemic economic fallout military conflict all right shalom this is hard one by yasha allah of the lions den camp what is it called halayim layahawa by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Harakai Kodash Ma'amath, double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Aguatim, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Hey, man, you heard it, you heard it yourself, man. Um, this this uh, proxy, the proxy war is morphing into um a full-scale uh, hot war between these major comp countries instead of these uh, smaller or uh, proxy countries, all right? So proxy basically means uh, the big, the major countries are using the smaller countries to go to war or using um, what you would call um, terrorists. Uh, uh, groups to fight against each other, right? Um, but now you have Ukraine, just like you have Israel, the situation with Israel and Iran and uh, Syria. 
right? Even Pakistan, uh, Pakistan or Palestine. And then you have uh, a situation with um, Ukraine and Russia. Now, America is back in Ukraine. And, uh, you know, China and Russia and um, Iran and uh, and multiple other countries are all banding together. And they're being drawn into a World War Three scenario. All right. And it's heating up quick in the midst of an economy uh, collapse or a dollar crash or whatever you want to call it. You know, because all of it's going to happen. The dollar's going to crash. The economy is going to fail. They're still going to keep they're still going to keep the digital dollar, the dollar. The U.S. dollar is still going to be the world currency. It's just they're going to. um you know, change it into a digital form and force people to get the chip, all right, to have a new credit account, new account, a new universal, um, universal um, monthly payments, you know, to everybody, monthly allowances. See, that's, that's, the, that's their goal. That's their new world order, all right? So you heard what he said, man. It, the same process happens with the fall of kingdoms. Pan, pandemic. What do you call it? Uh, plagues. Look, look at the Roman Empire. All right. Look at Egypt. The plagues of Egypt. Which caused, which caused a, lot, a lot of um, damage to their economy. And then ultimately the Lord... Had them fall as a nation with uh, military. All right, and um, so now, you know, because ultimately the Lord had uh, what was that? Uh, those Assyrians take down the the Egyptians in six sixty four BC. All right, but anyway, so now the same thing is going to happen to America. All right, with Russia, because Russia uh, went against Crimea and they took Ukraine. So Crimea, which is backed by NATO and um, different different allies, you know, of Western Europe, they want uh, Crimea wants Ukraine uh, back because Russia has annexed. Ukraine to itself, meaning attached it or added it to it to itself as a Russian Russian um you know territory. All right, because that's what's happening right now. Uh, land grab, what you would call land grabs. All right, they're grabbing up land. People grabbing up resources. So that's the pattern. You have. A pe- pandemic right now and probably even more going to happen soon after that you're going to have an economy disaster economic disaster and that's biblical because the war is kicking off and it's heating up and that's why the Lord said you're going to come as a thief in the night because the war and the economy everything is bubbling up right now that frog in the pot and by the time people notice it they're going to be boiled it's going to be too late. The chip going to be there and uh, the war going to be right behind it. But, but but by the time anybody notices it, it's going to be a full-scale hot war. You know? So the proxies are moving out the way. These smaller countries. Now it's Ukraine uh, and Russia. It's, Ukraine is going to pull America into this. Period. All right, if Russia attacks Ukraine or whatever, which they're about to do, it's going to draw America into the war, period, man. They already got troops over there ready. So it's going to be a, um, a full-scale hot war, what you call regional wars. 
All right. That's why you get Armageddon, Armagodwan over there in, in what they call um, the Valley of Kidron or the Valley of Yahushapat. That's going to be a regional war that's going to kick off and turn into a world war. All right. A world war of Armageddon. And that's the, that's the climax when, when nations go to war, war, multiple continents go to war around the world. And the way they're going to do that is through what? Missiles? With the, with the scriptures called arrows? They're going to they're gonna shoot like archers from one continent to the next? Intercontinental ballistic missiles? Ballistic missiles? And then you have um, submarines, you know, in the, in the sea. And the Lord said the, the missiles come out of the belly. So they come out of the ground, the missile silos from their country, and they come out of the damn the belly of the damn of uh, the submarines that they have or the aircraft carriers. All right, so it's going to be battles on the sea and battles on the land. All around the world, though, different continents going to war. All right, so if that happens over there, see, it's beautiful, man. If they do go to war, which they about seem like they're about to do, you know, you can't say that ain't going to happen first. Because that proxy and all these different wars is going to draw America into it, as they're saying. On, on whatever uh, end of the scale you look at, if you look at Israel and Iran, that's going to draw America into it. If you look at Syria and Israel, that's going to draw America into it. You look at um, China and South Korea. All right, and dealing with North Korea and Japan, all that's going to draw America into it. Then you got um, the situation with Russia and Crimea. See, America got their their um, their foothold all over the damn earth. So, and they got they got bases. They set up military bases and missiles, defense shields. All around the borders of Russia. So Russia, like, yo, what you doing with these missiles? <laughs> They're like, oh, it's for defense. Yeah, Russia, like, yeah, okay. So now we, so now Russia came up with the um, invincible missile. So this is Jeremiah forty nine and twenty. Therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh that He have taken against Edom. All right, even them people over there in Ukraine, Crimea, Russia, Ukrainians, they all Edomites, all right? And his purposes, that he have purposed against the inhabitants of Teman, all right, them, them, them um, Amalek, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. So you got the least of the flock would be like Israel, or um, Ukraine, you know. So those countries, those Edomites, they're going to draw uh, America uh, Edomites into the war. All right. Even though it's Jake's in the military, it's still ran by Edomites. You know. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, man. All right. So America's going to be drawn out drawn into the war. Surely he shall make their inhabitations desolate with them. All right, this is the word uh, annex, because that's what Russia has done. Russia has annexed uh, Crimea to itself, basically saying, yo, Crimea is a smaller country that Russia owns. So they, if they own Crimea, then they're saying they own Ukraine as well. Crimea is saying no, they're with, they're with the U.S. and NATO. And the Ukraine situation is dealing with the Orthodox Church. All right? Um, so that Orthodox Church, Russia is saying that they own that as well. And the Orthodox Church is saying it's, it's owned by uh, Ukraine and Crimea. So that's what they're fighting over. And also those trade trade routes over there. So it's a lot more than what they're saying, you know. 
um, it says annex. It says append or add as an extra or subordinate part, especially to a document. All right. Um, a building joined to or associated with a main building. All right. So Ukraine and Crimea has been joined to the mainland, which would be uh, Moscow, or Russia. All right. So that's all prophetic. The Lord's turning um, Russia back into that old Soviet Union. All right, because Crimea used to be part of the Soviet Union. And that's what Russia is doing. They, the scripture said he was going to draw them. I'm going to get that scripture too. But the scripture said they're going to go back to being that old Soviet Union that fell in 1991. All right, and they've been, that bear has been out of hibernation, Russia, and they've been on the scene and developing and um, building a, a, allegiances with different countries like China changing their uh, pulling their currency away from the dollar unpegging their currency so they'll be free of any um, you know taxation that America tries to do us what they call sanctions so um around the around the time of because it's funny in 1920 I think or 21 1920s, there was a, a a a dollar crash as well. There was a crash. See, the dollar has been the American currency since 1913. All right, and they unpegged it from the silver and gold in 1971. So in the 1920s, they had a crash. In the 1930s, they had a crash. Great Depression. But over in Russia. This is what this was happening. It says, was Crimea part of the Soviet Union? On eight, October 18, 1921, the Crimean Autonomous Soviet Social Republic, that's what it was called, all right, was created as part of the Russian SFSR, all right? Um, which in turn became part of the new Soviet Union. All right, so they were part of it. All right, I'm just read some extra uh, liter literature real quick. The Crimean Peninsula, north of the Black Sea in Eastern Europe. All right, that's the battle between Western Europe and Eastern Europe. Was annexed by the Russian Federation between February and March 2014 and since then has been administered as two Russian federal subjects the Republic of Crimea and the federal city of Zevestopol all right so um yeah man so Russia saying that's their area that's their um country you know subordinate but NATO is saying no. We, um, you know, they got more influence over there. All right. But Russia saying no, this is our country. Right. Because I'm, I'm going to read this too. It says, um, why is Russia at war with Crimea? All right. Because you have a lot of Russians over there. And this is their excuse. This is Russia's excuse. All right, Ukraine and, and Crimea, we'll leave you alone, even though you're part of the Russian Federation, but you want your, um, you know, you, you, you want a, uh, sovereignty. Well, you know, from Putin, he's saying this, we have Russians there, and we want to make sure they're not being treated wrong or, you know, and we're going to have our foothold there and our influence there to protect them, the ones that the Ukrainians and the Crimeans that want to be part of the Russian Federation. So that's why Ukraine and Crimea is like, what? 
you know, I'm read this. Vladimir Putin said that Russia, Russian troops in Crimea Peninsula were aimed to ensure proper conditions for the people of Crimea to be able to freely express their will, whilst U- Ukraine and other nations argue that such intervention is a violation of Ukraine's sovereignty. See, there you go. All right, so that's why Russia's... I just want to give a backstory a little bit of what's going on over in that way, because we're busy watching uh, Iran, Israel. You know, that's the one that's going to really kick it off. But, uh, you know, that's that's in the prophecies. But Ukraine is could be the trigger that fully has uh, Russia morph back into the Soviet Union, which they're already on that that path since 2014, uh, 2016. They came out and announced the Soviet, the reestablishment of the Soviet Union. All right, when when they same time they announced the Brexit over in Europe. So now, um. The situation in Crimea is this is this this could be the string or the the lure that lures America into a hot war. No more proxies. Which that war in um uh what you call it, uh Ukraine <clears throat> that would be called a regional war, which can which would be could quickly turn into a world war. Once America and Russia go uh, head to head, and then other countries get involved, you know. So, um, but what this war could cause quickly would be an economy disaster over here in America. All right, uh, products not showing up on the shelves. Um, you know dollar losing value which it already is it has no value to it but the, the only reason it exists is because there's still a demand a demand around the world the other countries are still using the dollar but russia china iran venezuela syria they all pulling away from dollar transactions all right so the, the dollar is losing value around the world there are losses um, price value, but now it's losing demand value. All right. So, yeah, that's prophetic, man. All right. Isaiah 13 and 7. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. So, the, the land of media um, today is where, by land geographics, is where the Russian Federation is a uh, position. All right. Behold, I will stir up the Medes or the Russians, <laughs> Moscow against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Right. They don't need America's gold. Cause there is no gold. Like, um, we already know, but possible to bring it up. There's no gold in Fort Knox, you know? So, Where's the gold? Where's the silver? All right. There's not enough gold here and silver here to pay off the debts, the trillions of debt that America has built up, thick clay. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it, man. So they're being stirred up, and they want their um, domination. All right, Ezekiel 38 and 1. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog, all right, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against them. So that's basically saying Russia or Moscow, which is the chief prince of that region. They rule that whole area, man. That's called the Soviet Union. It was called the Soviet Union, but now they're trying to get everything back. All right, because there was a big, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's the word for it? Insurrection. 
all right, and sedition over there in Russia. Uh, when it was called the USSR. And then you had something called the Red Army. Because there was a big, there was a sedition going on. And then the Red Army stepped up and they said, yo, since the Soviet Union, um, I think they're the ones that started what you call the Soviet Union. All right. So it broke off from the USSR and it turned into what you would call the Soviet Union. And that was through the Red Army. All right, over there in Russia. Been a while since I did some research on that, but yeah. <clears throat> so it became what you call the Soviet Union of, of people that wanted to stick together over there in Russia. And places like Ukraine, Crimea, all these little sideline countries, they kind of pulled away from the mainland of Russia or Moscow. And that's why Russia saying, nah, y'all belong to us. All right. Ezekiel 38 and 3. And said, and say, thus saith Yahweh, power. Behold, I am against thee, O God. So the Lord is against Russia. Russia is an atheist nation, man. There's <clears throat> some devil worshippers as well. And that Orthodox Church is not right at all. That's what the word Orthodox means. It means right. The right way of teaching. No, it ain't. If anything, we're the, the elect or the Orthodox church All right. teaching things the correct way um, it says the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal that's that Moscow region or um, Russian region over there all those lands in eastern Europe and I will turn thee back and put hooks in the, into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth, just like the scriptures say, the least of them shall draw them out. All right, so they're going to be brought forth. And the Lord has, has the Lord has already brought Russia forth, man. Russia has been um, showing a lot of force on the scene. They they got involved in in over there in the Middle East. They got involved over there uh, in in Ukraine and Crimea now. <clears throat> So the Lord is turning them back into wanting that domination of those areas because China and Russia have been expanding and growing as nations in their economy and their military. So just by them increasing as, na as a nation makes them the dominant buyer, the dominant military, all right, the dominant um, uh, rulers on the earth as a nation, just like America used to be. Right, America be used to be the big spender, you know, the biggest buyer because of the dollar. They can print print their own money. All right, but now Russia and China are the biggest buyers because their currency is backed by gold, by oil. American dollar is backed by nothing. Ever since nineteen seventy one, so nineteen seventy one was really the setup for America dollar to be devalued and, and destroyed, which is taking away America's power in the world through their dollar. Through their dollar, they can influence and um, sanction and manipulate a lot of countries and weaken the countries. All right, so now uh, Russia and China, they have their own currency. So by doing so, and expanding as a nation, they want what? They're doing land grabs. That's why China's saying, yo, South Korea is ours. You can't do nothing about it. Russia is saying, Ukraine and Crimea belong to us. America, mind your business. And Biden, like, yo, I'm going to send some troops over there. They already sent troops over there, man. All right. And the fighting already, small groups of, uh, Fighting already kicking off. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaw. So turn them back into that old Soviet Union, USSR uh, mode. And I will bring thee forth and all thine armies, man. 
horses and horsemen. See how about the scriptures speak about horsemen and uh, Nahum. I think it's chapter three, where it speaks about the horsemen, because the horsemen represent the uh, the ones that's going to control the horses, which would be the missiles. All right. All of them clothed with all sorts of miss of armor. All right. Missile defense, um, you, you know, advanced technology, advanced training, military training, even or super soldiers. <clears throat> yep. Even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So all of them are going to be highly trained at using this new equipment. Persia. Ethiopia and Libya, all right, Persia, Iran, Ethiopia, um, African, and Ethiopia is the, one of the top nations as far as riches right now in um, Africa. Libya, which would be a uh, put, all of them with shield and helmet, all right, fully, fully, um, Protect Gomer, which would be, uh, you know, some say the French. But it says all his bands and all his bands, all right? So that's what Turkey and Istanbul, which is right next to France, or uh, you have uh, those other European nations. The House of Togomar. Of the North Quarters, all right. That's uh, that's Turkey, and all his bands and many people with these. So that's a whole area of Istanbul, and France, Turkey. Um, they're going to get involved in that war over there in Crimea, you know, and over um here on this land as well. Be thou prepared. So Russia's preparing all these proxy nations. The, the subordinate nations. <clears throat> so the Lord has prepared Russia. That's why Russia is called the bear in the book of Revelations. That word bear means to be strong enough or to be enough or equipped. All right. Um, and also Russia, their symbol is the bear. And when they, when they went to war, it was a war that they fought. Man, I forgot what the war was. They were fighting over, but it was a war that they fought, and they won. It was it was against somebody. It was a proxy war. It was a, it was a straight on war. Anyway, but I remember Russia. Their tactic that they used was, they struck. They would strike, and then it would seem like they turned away, and then they would come back and strike again. They destroy, they obliterate. That's what that's that's what a bear does. It'll strike a maul it will maul a person and then it'll it'll pull away from them, see if it moves again. If they move again, then it'll go back and kill them, finish finish them off. Alright. So that's the way the Lord is using Russia, like in hibernation, you know. Alright. Because Russia fell. The Soviet Union fell militarily around 1991, and that's when you get um, those Western European Edomites, those Illuminati members, that helped with the fall of the Soviet Union. I forgot his name, man. I always do lessons on him. Uh, all right, his name, I think, uh, George Soros. And he's like, they call him a destroyer of nations. <clears throat> He'll go around there and uh, destroy your nation, man, with the economy. All right? And bet against it. And that's what they did with the Soviet Union. They helped with the fall of the Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union put so much money into their uh, military at that time that the economy crashed. And so they had to stop funding the military and they had to play the back road all the way up until now. So now they're back on the scene and they want to um, 
they reestablished everything. Shit. <laughs> Excuse me. They established uh, their dollar, their currency, their military, their, their um, land, land demographics. They expanded it. All right. Verse 7. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. And be thou a guard unto them. So any country that has joined unto Russia, that are assembled to Russia, the, the Lord is going to allow Russia to equip those nations. And that's what you've been seeing Russia do. Any nation, Korea, North Korea, Iran, Turkey, uh, not Turkey, um, Syria, all those countries that have made allegiances with Russia, Russia has protected them. Um, help them um, pull away from the dollar so they can do straight uh, um, uh, deals with each other and do bilateral deals. All right. So anyway, uh, it says, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and thy army, thy company, that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So this is all prophecy that Russia's being brought on the um, the main stage, uh, uh, you know, to finish out the prophecies, man. But the Lord said, just like he used Nebuchadnezzar to bring us down in 586 B.C., or he used Cyrus the Great, the, the, the uh, Persians, and the Medes to bring down the Assyrians, Nebuchadnezzar. The Lord was still against those nations, just like He's going to use Russia to go to go against America. The Lord, He He, he mentioned it from the gate: "I'm against you, Russia, but I'm going to use you." All right, Satan against Satan. Verse 8, after many days thou shalt be visited, in the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword. So that now they're being visited. The Lord has the angels stirring them up. And is gathered out of many people, I'm talking about America, all right, in the land of Israel. Against the, against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste. But it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. So the children of Israel, uh, the elect, are going to be um, brought forth and dwell safely in that land again someday. But right now, that land is going to be destroyed because it has bastards in it. So it's going to be destroyed just like America or Babylon. All right. Um. Verse 9. So even though that land is is desolate and has bastards in it, someday you're going to hear the lions roaring in that place again, which were the children of Israel in Yahushua. Verse 9. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands, and many people with thee. So that's Russia, man. They're gonna come up from the north over America, and they're gonna come go into the land of Israel. That's that proxy war. That's gonna be that uh, so like a uh, regional war, which is called Armageddon. This is gonna climax into missiles being shot, and once the missiles get shot, it's over. You got missiles that can get here in thirty minutes, five minutes now. Russia said it'll take four days to destroy Ukraine. It'll be done four days. So once it goes into a from a regional war into a world war, it's gonna be fast. America, scriptures say America's gonna be destroyed in one hour. Two hundred million missiles. There's no way um, America's defenses can uh, withstand that type of uh, onslaught of all those uh, 
missiles being shot in a Persian manner. Like when he said, our arrows shall blot out the sun on the movie 300. Well, these missiles, the ICBMs, man. It was huge, giant-ass missiles. Big as a damn building. They're going to be shot 200 million, 200 million of those. All right. Um, is it was uh, Ezekiel thirty-eight and ten? Thus say, if you have a power, it shall come to. It shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. Right. So they're gonna go against that land of Israel. And so these proxy wars. They're going to be battling America on those fronts over in Ukraine and over there in Israel. It's going to lead to them uh, not just cutting off the hand, but going to cut off the head, which will be over in America, the Babylon. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. That's my Babylon. I will go to them that are at rest that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. All right, so they have no defenses, man. America's defenses cannot stop uh, Russia. All right, I'm going to read this and end it. Second Ezra 16 and 11. The Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall threaten. All right, basically prophesying against these people. And the Lord is threatening. All right, look what he did with Egypt. Look what he did with um, the Roman Empire. Um, a series. Excuse me, I just woke up. Uh, verse 11. The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also before Yahweh and before the glory of his power. Verse 3. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. So this um, goes with 2nd Ezra 16. 12 goes with 2nd um, uh, Ezra 13 when Yahweh Shai shows up. All right. It says, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. So he he the one that what created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire. And he brought forth a weapon, um, you know, for his indignation. All right. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that shooteth are sharp. And shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. All right, so all these missiles are going to be shot into the ends of the world. And, and we're hearing about the wars and rumors of wars. All right. So, hey, man, you know, keep your eyes on the prophecies. Stay in the spirit. Stay prayed up. Because the Lord is delivering us, whether you can see it or not. You know, it's about the things that's happening behind the scenes with the economy you're not going to see it on the shelves yet that'd be too quick they're going to the economy is failing on a different scale like you might hear about um you know farming tools that have been being taxed and there wouldn't be no of no concern to you but then you might hear about automobiles being taxed then you might start getting to you then you might start hearing about this, you know, something else over here, just odd things being taxed instead of it all just being taxed at once, you know, and what you call hyperinflation. So, they, so they're going to do it on different scales until it's the whole picture, you know. So everything's happening, man, behind the scenes. The wars are in place. The, the, the nations are making allegiances with each other. The Lord is manipulating. And intervening. All right. So, um, yeah, the, the war with Ukraine and Russia is going to draw America into that war. And like, like that Edomite said, 
the same process as what pandemic economy disaster economic disaster which could lead to it's going to lead to the chip we at that point right now and then um world war all right the end all be all the world war the climax all right noonday so damn say a shallow one